So here we are given this equation and we are going to write this into its standard form. As we can see, we have x squared plus y squared, but then we also have the plus 2x and then the minus 4y. You see that we see the x twice and we see the y twice. So that means we have to complete the square for both the x and y. Okay? So let's make that happen. And to do so, be sure you put the x together first. We will focus on x squared. Let me write it down right here. With the 2x right here. And then leave a space for the special someone, for the x. And let's bring down plus y squared and put the minus 4y here. And also leave a space for the special someone. And this is equal to, you see we have the minus 6 right here, right? But then bring the number to the right hand side. Let's add the 6 on both sides. So 0 plus 6 is 6. And let me tell you, you know this is going to be a circle, right? And this and that are the magical numbers that we have to find out. And be sure you add the magic numbers on both sides. The right hand side here, all these numbers will give you the r squared. So by looking at the right hand side later on, we'll be able to find out the radius. So let's figure out what's that special someone, that magic number. And you have to remember that formula. So this is for x. Remember the formula is 1 half times the b value. And right here, the b value is positive 2. So it will be just a 2. And then we put this in your parentheses. We square that. And let's work it out. 1 half times 2 is 1. And we take 1 square. And of course, we still end up with 1. This is the 1 that we have to add right here. So plus 1. And be sure we add the same number on both sides. We add the 1 on both sides. And now let's do the same thing for the y. So let me put this down. This is going to be for the y. So we have to do the same formula. 1 half times the b value. The b value here is negative 4. So I'll put this down. This is negative 4 in the parentheses like this, and 1 half of negative 4 is negative 2. And then we square this, we end up with positive 4. So right here, I'm going to add 4 to it, and don't forget to do the same thing on both sides, right? So now we can continue, and for this part, we know we can factor it out. And the best part is that, thanks to this magic number, that special someone, this is going to be something to the second power. You can factor this out real quick, and you know it will be x plus 1 times x plus 1. Therefore, that's x plus 1, and square that, right? Bring down the plus. These three terms, we can also factor it out, and it's also going to be something to the second power. We can factor this out. We have to get negative 2, negative 2, right? Because negative 2 times negative 2 give us positive 4, and together they add up to negative 4. So it will be y minus 2. And on the right hand side, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. And here we have it. This is the standard form of a circle. And can we tell the center and the radius from here? Of course, right? That's the purpose of complete the square so that we know the center and the radius of the circle. So the center, we have x plus 1, but it's technically negative 1, right? It's the opposite. And this is y minus 2, so it's actually a 2. Center, negative 1, comma, 2. And how about the radius? Well, here we have 11, but we don't look at the 11 as 11. We look at this 11 as square root of 11 square. In another word, square root of 11 is the radius. Okay? And this right here is it. Standard form, center, and the radius. That's it.